Bain Sports is a Qatar multinational network of sports channels owned and operated by the Qatar media group Bain. It has played a major role in the increased commercialization of Qatar sports. Its chairman is Nasser al khilafi and its CEO is Yusef Obaidli. Bain Sports is the dominant television sports channel in the MENA region. It also operates channels in France, the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Turkey, Hong Kong, Singapore, Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand. Bain Sports is one of the channels that almost entirely dedicates itself to soccer coverage. In the past, the English language channel that's available in the United States pulled in most of its viewers via their coverage of La Liga. La Liga first appeared on the channel in 2012 after acquiring the rights, only losing them after the 2020-21 season. In that time, Bain Sports had the privilege of broadcasting Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in their prime. In fact, the channel pulled in almost 1 million viewers in their final El Clasico between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Remember, this game did not even feature Cristiano Ronaldo. Yet, it remained the most viewed derby fixture since 2017. In addition to La Liga coverage, the channel made a name for itself with its international coverage. Bain Sports is not solely an American channel. Moreover, they provide much more of an international focus. Much of that attention goes to France, where Bain found their footing. Overall, the channel broadcasts soccer games in 35 countries on three continents. Bain Sports started after Al Jazeera bought a package of Ligue 1 games to broadcast in France. That only happened in June 2011, meaning the channel quickly grew into one of the major soccer broadcasters in the world. Much of the channel's content revolves around soccer, but it reaches other markets as well. For example, motorsports, tennis, cricket, and international basketball all appear on the channel frequently. Al Jazeera Media Network entered the European television rights market in June 2011 when it purchased a package of live French football Ligue 1 matches from 2012 to 2016 for €90 million Euros a year. The deal makes them joint broadcasters of domestic top-flight football in France alongside long-term rights holders Canal+. Plus. The broadcaster also acquired the pay TV rights to the UEFA Champions League. Europa League from 2012 to 2015, Euro 2012 and Euro 2016 in France. France was targeted as Al Jazeera's first entry into Europe due to the fact that there were no dedicated sports channels, unlike in the United Kingdom. The name Bain Sports was first revealed in early 2012. According to Nasser al khilafi the director of Al Jazeera Sports, the name symbolizes the mind of two channels aiming at bringing live and exclusive broadcasting of the biggest events. Former Canal Plus executive Charles Bietri was hired by Al Jazeera to launch the channels. The channels will be available on all cable and IPTV providers and select satellite providers. Kane LSAT, owned by Canal Plus Group, has declined to carry the channels as of March 2012. Bain Sports was officially launched on June 1, 2012, in time to broadcast Euro 2012. Bain Sports 2 commenced on July 27, 2012, in time to broadcast the French Ligue 2 season, and before the start of the 2012-13 Ligue 1 season. In June 2015, it was announced that Nasser al khilafi had plans to create the Bain Sports channel on TV operators to cable in Brazil. Bain Sports Spain officially began broadcasting on July 1, 2015, the date on which GOL Television ceased broadcasting all football games, which during the summer were in place under the slogan Change the Game, Cambia el Juego in Spanish. Thanks to an alliance between Al Jazeera and Media Pro, Bain Sports Spain offers UEFA Champions League, 2015-2018, UEFA Europe League, 2015-2018, UEFA Super Cup, 2015-2017, Premier League, 2015-16 season only, Serie A, Primera Liga, Jupiler Pro League, Ligue 1, DFB Pockel, Coupe de la Ligue, KNVB Becker, Yuan Cruijff Shield, 
Copa de Brazil, CONCACAF Gold Cup, Copa Libertadores, and Copa Sudamericana. Bain Sports Spain can be viewed over the internet, Smart TV, LG and Samsung, PC, laptops, tablets, smartphones, iOS slash Android, PS3 slash PS4, Chromecast, TV operators, Orange, Vodafone, and Telecable, and online platforms, Bain Sports Connect, Total Channel and YouTube. On Wednesday, August 19, due to the start of the playoffs of the UEFA Champions League, Bain Sports, Spain, begins to emit Bain Sports Max, up to eight simultaneous channels, to broadcast all matches of the UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europe League. Bain Sports, Spain, offers customers GOL Television lost up to June 30, 2015 an exclusive promotion to watch Bain Sports through Bain Sports Connect, and through the app Total Channel. It also offers channels like Fox, AXN, TNT, and the best entertainment channels in HD for Euro 5 slash month for two months, then from the third month onwards Euro 9.99 slash month. Bain Sports, Spain developed a channel licensed for bars in Spain called Bain Sports Bar. The channel stopped transmission on August 9, 2018. For the 2016-2017 season and onwards, Bain Sports Spain has the television rights to La Liga, 8 games a day, always one of Real Madrid or FC Barcelona, and Copa del Rey. Bain Media Group acquired DG Turk in July 2015. On November 1, 2017, Bain Sports created an Olympic channel in the Middle East and North Africa region. On April 19, 2016, Bain Sports launched on Starhub TV Channel 213. On August 1, 2016, Bain Sports launched on Astro on Channel 837 until moved to Channel 818 on August 1, 2019. On October 19, 2018, Bain Sports Max launched on Singtel TV on Channel 110. On December 4, 2018, Bain Sports Max launched on Astro on Channel 841 until moved to Channel 819 on August 1, 2019. On August 6, 2019, Bain Sports launched on Singtel TV on Channel 109 and it ceased transmission on October 2, 2021. However, Bain Sports made its return on Singtel TV on March 11, 2022 on Channel 109 126 and launch Bain Sports 2 on Channel 117 and 127 on the same date. From June 27, 2022, Bain Sports, Bain Sports 2 and Bain Sports 3 channels are only available on Channel 126, 127 and 128 on Singtel TV. On January 7, 2022, Bain Sports Max was rebranded to Bain Sports 3 in Malaysia and Singapore. On May 1, 2022, Bain Sports and Bain Sports 3 launched on Unify TV. On August 1, 2022, Bain Sports 4 launched on Unify TV. In France, where Bain Sports was launched for the first time, it holds the rights to broadcast major football tournaments, including Ligue 1, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga and the European Football Championship. Along with Canal Plus, Bain Sports also holds the rights to broadcast all the Champions League matches from 2021 to 2024. In the United States and Canada, Bain Sports holds the rights to broadcast La Liga, Ligue 1, Canmebol World Cup qualifiers, Copa Libertadores, and Football League Championship matches and Real Madrid TV. It launched two channels in the United States, English and Spanish, in August 2012, followed by a full channel in Canada, on January 31, 2014. In Indonesia, Bain Sports holds the rights to broadcast La Liga, Ligue 1, Serie A, 2013-2016, return in 2018, Super League, 2017-18 until 2021-22, a League, starts 2017-18 season, FFA Cup, starts 2017 season, 
CAF World Cup qualifiers, Major League Soccer, MLS, and more. In Malaysia, Bain Sports offers comprehensive coverage of European football leagues including La Liga, Ligue 1 and more. In Hong Kong, Bain Sports holds the rights to broadcast Serie A, Ligue 1, Major League Soccer, MLS, A-League, starts 2017-18 season, FFA Cup, starts 2017 season, UEFA Champions League, UEFA Europa League and more. In Thailand, Bain Sports holds the rights to broadcast La Liga, Serie A, Ligue 1, Bundesliga, MLS, until 2022, Super League, 2017 to 18 until 2021 to 22, A League, starts 2017 to 18 season, FFA Cup, starts 2017 season, and more. In Australia, the channel was launched in late November 2014 following the acquisition of Seton Tass Sports Australia which was rebranded as Bain Sports. 16 Bain Sports Australia holds the rights to broadcast UEFA Champions League, 2015-2018, UEFA Europa League, 2015-2018, EFL Cup, La Liga, Serie A, Ligue 1, Bundesliga, MLS, Copa Libertadores and RBS Six Nations. On March 14, 2016, Bain Sports Australia expanded from one to three channels, all in HD, and as of May 15, 2016 has been made available to all Foxtel Sport Pack subscribers, rather than the original add-on cost for a single SD channel. Fetch subscribers still only have access to Bain Sports 1, which is an add-on cost each month. Bain Connect, also known as Bain Sports Connect, is a subsidiary over-the-top content, OT, service started in 2014. It allows users to watch live and on-demand video content from a Mac, Windows PC, mobile phone, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 via a broadband or Wi-Fi internet connection. On-demand content comprises sports highlights, movies, and TV shows. Bain Connect is available as a paid service in France, Spain, United States, Canada, Turkey, in 2017, Asia Pacific, in 2017, and the MENA region. In 2014, Bain Sports held the rights to broadcast the 2014 FIFA World Cup. In 2018, Bain Sports broadcast the 2018 FIFA World Cup. On February 23, 2020, Bain Sports announced to broadcast special shows and dedicated programs for 1,000 days until the 2022 FIFA World Cup. To be broadcast from February 25 on its free-to-air and HD1 channel, the programs were supposed to include historic matches, highlights from the international best players, history of Qatar football and special clips of the day Qatar won the World Cup bid. In 2012, the network held the rights to broadcast all UEFA Euro 2012. In 2016, Bain Sports broadcast Euro 2016 matches on the French pay TV platform while TF1 and M6 have the free-to-air rights to select matches. In November 2019, Canal Plus and Bain Sports won the rights to broadcast Champions League matches in France between 2021 and 2024. In France, Bain Sports holds one of five rights packages for Ligue 1 from 2012 to 2016, the package consisting of Friday night and Sunday evening matches. The other four packages are held by Canal Plus. It also shows Ligue 2 matches. For the UEFA Champions League, it has the rights to broadcast all matches except the 13 weekly first choice picks, yet to be awarded to any broadcaster as of April 2012 from 2012. It also owns the rights to all UEFA Europa League matches including the final. Also in France, Bain Sports and Canal Plus also share the rights to Serie A and Bundesliga matches. It also airs FA Cup, Football League Championship, La Liga, Argentine Primera Division 23 and Brasilia Rio. In the United States, the network holds the rights package for Ligue 1, La Liga, 
FIFA World Cup qualification rounds in the Americas, CONMEBOL and CONCACAF, except for home matches by Mexico and the United States, which are both held by Univision and ESPN. In April 2020, Bain Sports announced that it will broadcast a month-long online football gaming tournament organized by Paris Saint-Germain to entertain people stuck at home, due to coronavirus. On February 13, 2021, Bain Sports secured exclusive domestic broadcast rights from Canal Plus for the remaining matches of Ligue 2's 2020-21 season. Bain already had the rights to broadcast two live matches per match week under its existing €30 million Euros per season deal with the French Professional Football League, LFP, for the 2020-24 cycle. With this sub-licensing deal, Bain can air the remaining eight live matches per week until the end of 2020-21 season. Bain Sports held the rights to broadcast the seasons of Qatar Stars League. In 2017, Bain Sports bought the broadcasting rights of the Turkish Super League until 2024. Bain shows live premiership games. In France, Bain Sports broadcasts November Test matches, European Rugby Champions Cup, European Rugby Challenge Cup, English Premiership, and Pro 14. Bain Sports will broadcast the Super League, including all home matches of French side Catalan's Dragons. Other competitions include the Australian National Rugby League and State of Origin Series. Bain Sports was awarded the rights to the 2013 Rugby League World Cup and broadcast all matches live. In 2017, cricket debuted on the channel. Bain Sports has acquired the Cricket Australia and England and Wales cricket board rights for the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, region and broadcast the 2017-18 Ashes Series and 2017-18 Big Bash League season. Bain Sports also acquired the Indian Premier League, IPL, rights in April 2018 for the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, region in a five-year deal with Star India up to 2022. In early 2021, Bain Sports held the rights to broadcast the 2021 Pakistan Super League. On February 23, 2013, as part of Al Jazeera's increasing footprint in the Superbike World Championship, which they hold rights in the Middle East, and the transitional shutdown of Fox Sports Motorsport operations in Charlotte, North Carolina, Bain Sports acquired the rights to the Superbike World Championship in the United States, which also includes live coverage of the races and also the support classes, which had never been televised in the United States in the past. Bain Sports also airs the FIA World Rally Cross Championship in the United States, the Middle East, and North Africa. In 2016, Bain Sports began to broadcast two more Dorna controlled motorcycle road racing series in the United States and Canada MotoGP, the Superbike World Championship, giving them control of FIM road racing on North American television. The deal ended after the 2019. The channel also aired Moto America from 2016 to 2018. In early 2023, Bain Sports got the rights to broadcast the Formula One in Southeast Asia from 2023 to 2025. Previously, they had broadcast rights for the MENA region from 2014 to 2018. Bain Sports has acquired exclusive broadcast rights to the EHF Champions League, Team Handball. The EHF Champions League is the most important club competition for men's and women's teams in Europe and involves the leading teams from the top European nations. In January 2013, Bain Sports also acquired the broadcast rights to the 2013 World Men's Handball Championship. Bain Sports USA aired live, delayed and pre-recorded HD games in the U.S. between January 11 to 27, 2013. In France, Bain Sports airs the Wimbledon Championships, Davis Cup, Fed Cup, ADP World Tour Masters 1000, ADP World Tour 500, ADP World Tour Finals, and some ADP World Tour 250 and WTA Tour tournaments. Bain Sports will be the exclusive broadcaster of WTA Tour in the United States, Australia, the Middle East, and North Africa from 2017 to 2021.
In France, Bain Sports aired the 2012 Summer Olympics tennis, handball, and basketball tournaments. In athletics, Bain Sports airs the IAAF Diamond League and several international marathons and world indoor meetings. In cycling, it broadcasts some UCI World Tour road races, including the Giro d'Italia, as well as the UCI Road, Track, Mountain Bike and Trials World Championships, Mountain Bike Mania, 2016-2018. The channel also airs the French Handball Championship, FIVB World League, EuroLeague, top-tier European Basketball Club competition, National Basketball Association, NBA, National Football League, NFL, and Major League Baseball, MLB. On May 25, 2016, the U.S. Bain Sports announced that it had acquired partial rights to Conference USA College Sports, including a package of selected college football, basketball, baseball, softball, and soccer matches. The deal marks the first American football-related contract the U.S. network has acquired. On April 20, 2018, professional wrestling debuted on the channel with the premiere of Major League Wrestling's weekly series, MLW Fusion, on Bain Sports USA. The channel's football coverage is notably fronted by Richard Keyes and Andy Gray. Bain Sports 1 HD will focus on year-round live football with the Premier League, 2013-2019, being prominent as well as content from Arsenal, Liverpool, and Spurs club channels in streaming media. Other live coverage will come from the Serie A, 2013-2021 exclude 2016-2018, Ligue 1, Major League Soccer, MLS, the Brazilian National Leagues, Paulistado and Brasileiro, 2013-2015, as well as major cup tournaments such as the FA Cup, 2013-2024, Coppa Italia, 2013 and 2014, and the Coupe de la Ligue. Since 2014, Bain Sports was removed from first media or defunct by GTV caused by contractual problem. From 2016, this channel also broadcast not only football but other sporting events, such as, tennis, motor racing, handball, and many more. Bain Sports 2 HD will also feature live football but will have another sports remit. Starting January 2022, Bain Sports 2 will begin airing tennis coverages as the latter acquired broadcast rights of the Australian Open, the French Open and the ATP Tours. Bain Sports 3 HD same as the Bain Sports 2 HD. This channel has been launched since August 2016, replacing the Premier League channel. Premier League HD will be a 24-hour Premier League dedicated channel in Indonesia broadcasting nearly 1,600 hours of live programming from 2013 to 14 to 2015 to 16 season. This includes all 380 Premier League matches per season, weekly magazine show Premier League World, as well as pre-match coverage and post-game analysis in addition to weekly preview and review shows and highlights in interviews. Despite most of its North American broadcast rights contracts covering both the United States and Canada, Bain Sports initially was not authorized to broadcast in the country nor had it sub-licensed any of its programmings to local broadcasters. The channel had a difficult time finding a broadcaster willing to partner up with it to launch its services. In October 2013, Bain Sports launched an online streaming service in Canada through their website www.bainsportsplay.ca. The live service was available at no charge for registered users until February 1, 2014. Since then, users can access the streams for CAD $19.99 per month. On demand coverage is not available through Bain Sports Play Canada. On December 18, 2013, Bain Sports announced they had reached a deal with Ethnic Channels Group, a local ethnic broadcaster, to launch their services in Canada. The channel was officially launched on January 31, 2014 via MTS and Next. Bain Sports HD is available on Shaw Cable on Channel 234, Rogers Cable on Channel 391, on Bell Satellite and 5 on Channel 1412, 
on Videotron on Channel 797 and through Ot Broadcaster DAZN. In July 2018, Bain Sports struck a multi-million rights deal with French sports agency, a Maori sport organization, ASSO, granting it the sole rights in MENA to broadcast all its major events until 2023. But in April 2019, ASSO confirmed that one its major event, Dakar Rally would be held in Saudi Arabia from 2020 under a multi-year accord. Following which, Bain said that ASSO was trying to exit its MENA deal and instead making a transition towards Saudi broadcaster. However, in October 2019, the president of the Nantier Commercial Court in France ruled that ASSO must continue to maintain its five-year exclusive rights agreement with Bain. Bain sports market positions in some regions have led to concerns over the network's dominance. In 2016, French authorities blocked a deal by Bain Sports France to sublicense its sports properties to Canal Plus Sport, as it would have given the partnership control of 80% of French sports media rights. At the 2017 World Men's Handball Championship, whose international media rights were owned by Bain Sports, French radio stations declined to air the tournament as Bain Sports wanted them to pay administrative fees about five times higher than technical cost, in violation of French law. The 2017 Africa Cup of Nations were also left without domestic television coverage in four countries participating in the tournament, Algeria, Egypt, Morocco, and Tunisia, due to exorbitant sublicensing fees being demanded from free-to-air broadcasters by Bain as the region's right shoulder. In August 2018, Bain Sports was fined, and subsequently banned from operating in Saudi Arabia, with the government citing its forced bundling of the networks with unrelated services. Bain criticized the actions as being politically motivated. The following March, Bain's rights to the Asian Football Confederation AFC, were stripped in Saudi Arabia to cancel its monopoly on the sport, due to the illegality of Bain's sport to transmit in the kingdom due to the grave violations of the laws and regulations Bain's sport has committed, and its inability to obtain the required licenses necessary for it to fulfill its commitments in transmitting AFC's competitions to the viewers and followers in the kingdom. Bain threatened legal action, accusing the AFC of colluding with the Saudi Arabian Football Federation to breach its contract. By contrast, Bain Sports' relatively niche position in the United States, where it focuses particularly on international sports not picked up by other networks, led to criticism of its broadcasting deal with the WTA Tour for non-domestic events, as the channel's prioritization of football in its scheduling, narrower carriage than its previous broadcaster tennis channel, as well as being dropped by several major cable providers in 2018, limited the availability of its coverage. These issues led to concerns that the limited coverage would give women's tennis little exposure outside of majors and domestic tour events. Bain Sports US dropped the WTA tour after the 2018 season, and it subsequently signed a new contract to return to Tennis Channel in the 2019 season. In April 2020, Amidst claims of Saudi PIF taking over Premier League club Newcastle United, Bain Sports wrote a letter to league's chief executive Richard Masters and issued a notice to 19 clubs, except Newcastle. In its letter, the broadcaster claimed that Saudi Arabian pay TV network Beout Q has been illicitly regulating its copyright protected content and demanded Premier League to block the deal. Given the crippling economic effect that coronavirus is having on the sports industry, this is all happening at a time when football clubs need to protect their broadcast revenue the most, Bain chief executive Youssef al wrote. Bain has unveiled its new streaming service for the MENA region. In 2014, the Premier League restricted Bain sports in the MENA region to airing one match per week with a 3 p.m. UK time kickoff on television only. As these matches may not be broadcast within the United Kingdom due to domestic rights restrictions 57-58 the Premier League showed concerns that Bain was not taking adequate steps to prevent its streaming broadcasts from being used for unauthorized retransmissions, especially into the United Kingdom. In November 2014, the Premier League reinstated Bain's full access to 3pm fixtures. In 2020, 
the company wrote to Premier League clubs to warn them against agreeing to a takeover deal with the Saudi-led consortium for Newcastle United, because of Saudi backing for the theft of Bain transmissions by the Saudi broadcaster Beout-Q. The Premier League board is currently allowed the deal to go through. Due to the then ongoing diplomatic crisis between Qatar and other Arab countries, Bain has been restricted from doing business in Saudi Arabia and the UAE since June 2017. The UAE unbanned the MENA network a month later, with no progress from Saudi Arabia reported. Months later in August 2018, it was revealed the Saudi pirate broadcaster, Beout Q, has been pirating the network's programming in the region for over a year, which has faced criticism from Bain and right shoulders over its industrial-scale copyright infringement. However, no law firm in Saudi Arabia was reportedly willing to represent the right shoulders in Saudi courts. Nor was the Saudi-majority-owned Arab Sat reported of responding to takedown pleas against Beout Q. In August 2019, the operations were eventually taken off-air. However, in November of same year, Bain Media alerted that despite ceasing satellite transmissions in mid-August, pirate broadcast operation, Beout Q, was still distributing its copyrighted content via the IPTV function of set-top boxes. Bain Media's license in Saudi Arabia was permanently revoked by Saudi authorities in July 2020 under the charges of antitrust practices following the World Trade Organization ruling the prior month concluding that Saudi Arabia didn't take any noticeable action in stopping Beout Q, and to the contrary, harbored and sponsored its operations. Bain Media says that even after the signing of Alula Declaration in early January 2021, Saudi Arabia is yet to reverse its decision to ban its operations in the national market. However, on October 6, 2021, Bain Media Group said in a statement that Saudi Arabia will soon lift a four-year ban on the channel and close its pirate websites, only Bain holds the rights to broadcast the Premier League across the Middle East. In November 2019, Bain Sports announced that it was reviewing its partnership with Serie A and considering cancelling all of its agreements in Italian football, following the league's decision to play a Supercoppa Italiana match between Juventus and Lazio in Saudi Arabia, despite piracy concerns. It is remarkable what Serie A is seemingly prepared to jeopardize, not only all the financial revenues from one of its biggest broadcaster partners, but also the exposure Bain gives to the league in markets all around the world, a statement from the television network read. Bain Sports normally shows top-tier Italian football matches in 35 countries but on Saturday night, anyone tuning in to watch Torino take on Parma in Serie A's return would have been disappointed. In match week 27 of 2019-20 season, other countries, Excellency NZ, Viewers were treated instead to a Turkish Super League match between Danes Lisper and Besiktas. And a late night trawl through Bain Sports' website for all of Saturday's results suggested there weren't any games played in Italy, just England, Spain, France, and Germany. For the record, Torino and Parma drew 1 1. But in match week 28, Bain Sports' social media apologizes to all global viewers and announced the comeback coverage. Bain paid $500 million to broadcast Serie A from 2018 to 2021, an agreement that has been beset by snags. It claims strong backing from competitions including England's Premier League, Spain's La Liga and the Wimbledon Tennis Championships, as part of a long-running campaign against its sports rights being pirated in Saudi Arabia. Thank you for watching this video.